You've heard some of his accolades mentioned earlier, but they bear repeating. He was a two-time NJAC all-conference member, 1997 first team, 1996 second team. He was a two-time ECAC All-Star in 96 and 97. He was a 1997 NABC All-Atlantic second team member. He holds school records for rebounds in a season and in a career. Almost 300, 286 in a season and 799 in a career. He's 11th in Stockton history in scoring, 1,238 points. And, and, and those of you that, that follow Stockton basketball knows that, you know what, he got a lot of those points. He also played alongside another person that scored a lot of points here in Carl Cochran. So maybe he would have gotten a few more points had he not been on that, you know, with that teammate. But I'm sure he was happy to play with Carl and be on the same team with him. But Marty would have probably scored a lot more points uh, had it not been for the presence of, of Carl as well. He's a season, single season top 10 list. Uh, he's first uh, in 1996, 97, and third in rebounds uh, in 1995-96. Those are the accolades that he accomplished while he was a student athlete here at Stockton. Uh, Marty's time as a student athlete came prior to my introduction to Stockton, uh, but he was one of the people that I wanted to get to know once I got to Stockton and started living this area. I bought my first home in New Jersey in Ventnor, which is right next door to Atlantic City. Uh, and I came, my position was created and came in because of the sports center affectionately known as Big Blue. Uh, I've seen Marty out and about and uh, Dr. Kessman mentioned the roles that he currently plays in Atlantic City and what he's done. My first introduction to Marty was in supporting the youth of Atlantic City and bringing them out for events. I remember an event that we held in the sports center. He wanted the students, the young students from Atlantic City to get to come to a college campus and to be to get the experience of playing on a college campus floor as a way of getting to motivate them. And they all came up to him, Mr. Marty, Mr. Marty, and they all wanted to touch Mr. Marty as they came in there. And he was just surrounded by all of these young people and they were thrilled to be on our campus, but you could see how proud he was to be able to bring them out and to showcase the place that he went to, to school. Uh, when you talk about when you talk about a hometown person growing up and then going back to his community and being a part of that community, I don't think you're going to find a better example than Marty Small. <laughs> if you if you if you if you like to if you like to follow all of the spins that go about and you talk about all of the troubled times and the and the things that are going on in Atlantic City, well, I've been reading the tea leaves as best I can, and I'm telling you, and and Dr. Kessman mentioned it, and, and you've been hearing all about it. Uh, Stockton truly intends to be a part of the resurrection of Atlantic City. Well, I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that Marty Small has been a part of what is going to happen with Atlantic City and all things positive. He knows where all of the people are. He knows all of the people to talk to. And I cannot be more proud to say that not only was he a student athlete here, because one of the things that we do as coaches and administrators, we say to our student athletes, we want you to prepare yourself for what you're going to do after you leave here. Marty came from Atlantic City, came to Stockton, went back to Atlantic City, and has continued to elevate the people and the communities of Atlantic City for which he serves, and I'm honored to introduce him into the class of 2016 Hall of Fame, Mr. Marty Small. Come on up. I have a few stories about Marty. We only can tell about 10% of the ones that actually occurred. <laughs> Dr. Kesselman referred to Marty's cheering section over here. What he omitted was how much Marty pays them to come to these events. <laughs> And Marty, he doesn't want to make an acceptance speech. He's saving that for when he becomes the mayor of Atlantic City. <laughs> and that time is coming, slow but sure. Marty coming to Stockton, he got his first comeuppance in life. He thought he was going to come out here, be a four-year starter, and knock Division Three basketball on its ears. And when he came out, of course, when the first game came and he's sitting his buns on the bench, he's beginning to wonder if he went to the right place. 
And at the end of the year, when he was still sitting with his buns on the bench, he had accepted what it was like. Hey, Division Three basketball and Division Three sports are pretty darn good. They're not just waiting for any one individual to show up. But let me say this. He was a three-year starter on the basketball team, and he certainly was an NJAC player his third year and fourth year. And another thing that was omitted before, well, it was alluded to, the Marty Small Balls. <laughs> Let me say this. Coach Resch got initiated to college life by the senior basketball players of 1997 when he got here. And he can refer to some of the Marty Small parties that were preludes to that, what is now the Marty Small Spectaculars. <laughs> I don't want to miss any of these things. I wrote some of them down. They gave you Marty's statistics. That 799 rebounds. 400 of those were rebounds of his own misses. <laughs> So, midway through his senior year, we were 26 and 4 his junior year. And we were second in Street and Smith coming out for the season of 96 97. And the guys on the team actually thought their crap didn't stink. So, the first night that we played, we're down 18 at half. And it was one of the more loving, endearing halftime speeches I ever made. But we got into the middle of the season. And we come to practice one day, and Carl Cochran says to me, Marty's not happy. He's not getting enough touches of the ball. So in our warm, friendly way, <laughs> we took him downstairs in the old gym area and proceeded to tell him, you want more touches? You want more touches? See the four-by-six piece of glass at each end of the floor? Get your buns up there and get about 10 or 12 more rebounds a game, and you'll get as many touches as you want. <laughs> he did accept that. But you all know Marty's personality. You can't, no one can dislike Marty Small, at least if they're a Democrat. <laughs> we go to California at Christmas time of his senior year. And we took the kids to Universal on a Sunday. And we left Universal at 4 o'clock. We drove to the Forum where the Lakers are going to play the Sixers. This was a hell of a trip. And we were there early when the players are out shooting around. So, of course, Marty goes wandering. He walked right into the Laker locker room. Don't ask me where the security was. He went into the locker room and comes out with Shaquille O'Neal and finds Kevin Brooks on the baseline and introduces Shaquille O'Neal to Kevin Brooks, my assistant. <laughs> then you've got Keyshawn Johnson, the guy who was drafted by the Jets in the NFL. He's at the game. Well, Marty's got a picture of him with Keyshawn Johnson. He went down the other part of the arena, had somebody take a picture of them with their arms around each other. But it was a heck of a trip. This one's for Lonnie, because we've had one of those things here with vans and the school. And sometimes, well, we played at Rowan. And everybody knows, when we play at Rowan, I usually don't go back to Stockton. I usually drive from my house to Rowan, because it's 88 miles that way. It would be about 125 if I did it the other way. So the vans had to go back to the school itself. And Marty had to drive the van one night. And Marty got stopped by a state trooper. <laughs> of course, what no one knows is Marty promised the state trooper when he becomes mayor, he'll have a free weekend at the hotel of his choice. <laughs> and that should be coming pretty soon. <laughs> have you ever called Marty at home? Have you ever listened to some of Marty's messages? 
Well, they used to be, oh, this is Marty Small, the leading rebounder in Stockton history. <laughs> He's already threatened to now make it. This is Marty Small, leading rebounder in Stockton history and member of the Hall of Fame. <laughs> That's before he got to be third ward councilman, president of the council. Can you only imagine what the message is going to be when he eventually becomes mayor? You'll probably have to pay a toll by the time he's finished talking. <laughs> I'll just tell one more small one. This, this is a good one. There's one story we can't tell. We promised we wouldn't tell it. I won't tell it. But right before we went to California, we're playing Newark Rutgers. And we're four and three. This is the team that had won 26 games the year before. And a kid goes to the foul line for Newark Rutgers, shooting two with five seconds to go in the game, and we're down one. The kid makes the first one. We're down two. We yell because we have one timeout left. I'm sorry, we have two timeouts left. We yell to the guys, if they miss, grab the rebound, get it to half court, and call timeout. The kid does miss. We do get the rebound, throw the ball to half court, we get the timeout. Coach Crowley draws up a play. The play is going to be Carl Cochran's going to come up on the baseline off a double screen. We run the play. Newark Rutgers knows the play. They come running with him. We have to call another timeout. We go back out on the floor. We change the play. Newark Rutgers calls a timeout. We change the play from that. We go back to the original play with one twist. As Carl would come running up around the double screen, he would jam and go right back to the basket. Marty was the designated passer. So he'll tell you this story. He'll tell you, I threw the pass. He threw a line drive pass from midcourt up toward the backboard. Carl caught the ball in the air laid it in, tied the score, and we won in overtime. And Newark Rutgers was shattered. All I can say is I'm glad he's here. I'm glad he's in the Hall of Fame. And just like I came to Dr. Kesselman's inauguration, I'll be at Marty's inauguration in Atlantic City when it happens.